Wait, here we are. Hello! Hello, everyone! We are back in the virtual laboratory today. And uh, I actually am very lucky today because I get to do science with one of my best friends and one of our professors, Professor Ian. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me, and thank you, Nick. No worries. So, we went through all of our things that we had in the laboratory yesterday, and we thought, what should we do today? What should we talk about? And I think that we should talk about... What should we talk about? I mean, should we talk hmm. about airplanes? I don't know. It's hard to see airplanes from inside. Yeah. Should we talk about plants? Plants? Well, possibly, but those usually take a long time to grow. <coughs> What about chemical reactions? That sounds perfect. We have chemicals right here. I think we should do some chemical reactions of our own. Excellent. Awesome. First question. Yes. What is a chemical reaction? What's a chemical reaction? I can show you a reaction right now. You have one ready to go? <gasps> that is a reaction. That is a reaction. Is That's that a good mean? reaction. That was a bit surprising. Oh. So um, is there anything that we can react that's on the table right now? Yeah, of course. So I have some chemicals here. And a chemical reaction is really important because a chemical reaction is when two chemicals combine together. And they get really surprised, like you. And they get really surprised. Oh, okay. And they're so surprised that they make a brand new chemical. All right. So there's sometimes when we combine chemicals together, and we can't get back what we started with, and that's a chemical reaction. So cool. I've got some stuff right here. This is one of my favorite chemical reactions. I'm going to put this right in the middle. Now, this is our flask. We use it for Very science. Good. And this right here. Now, actually, first I'm going to put on my, ah, my yes. safety we gloves. Be extra safe. Whenever you're handling chemicals, you have to use your safety gloves. Ours are in a nice stylish blue. They match our, our logo. And because we are going to be doing an actual chemical reaction here, Professor Ian, we need something else. Science goggles? Science goggles. Very cool. Now, if you're watching at home and you don't have your science goggles, all you have to do is make the okie dokie symbol with both of your hands and put them up to your eyeballs, and you can wear science goggles whenever we, you see us wear ours. Just like that. Perfect. Now, the first thing we're going to use, Professor Ian, is something called hydrogen peroxide. Oh, okay. Here we go. Be very careful hydrogen with this. Hydrogen peroxide. Now, if you could, could you pour that right into my flask here? All the way into the flask. All the way in. Okay. Goggles on. Goggles on. No spilling. Perfect. Now, hydrogen peroxide is almost like water. It's really close. Yeah, have you ever heard someone say water is called H2O? H2O. I have heard that. H2O. So H2O is because water is made up of just two different chemicals. Yeah. All right. What are they? First one is super light. If we were to fill a balloon with it, it would explode. The sun is made mostly of this chemical. Okay. Interesting that the sun is made out of some of the same stuff that water is made out of. Yeah. It's called hydrogen. Okay, hydrogen. So I would say hydrogen. Hydrogen. Very cool. Now the second thing is called, wait, I'm not gonna tell you. It's something that you need to breathe in. All right, let me see. Is it oxygen? It's oxygen. oxygen. So hydrogen and oxygen combined together. Now that's H2O, H, Great. hydrogen, O, oxygen. Here we have something called H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. So there's just a little more oxygen in this chemical. But it looks the same. How do we tell it apart from water? Well, I'll show you, actually. We're going to be doing a reaction that water awesome. would not do. So I'm going to add some blue food coloring, just for fun, so we can see it. You want to stir that up for me? Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you so much. Now, the second thing we need is soap. Soap? Yeah, you want to just give it a nice big just squirt of that? You bet. Whatever you want. All right. I like it. That's good. Next thing, we are going to make what I call a catalyst. A catalyst. Catalyst. A catalyst is a is a chemical that makes the reaction happen or it helps it happen. So this right here, there are two different chemicals. This one is just water, and this one is actually yeast. So I'm gonna okay. mix these together. The yeast is actually alive, so check it out. Interesting. It actually makes a kind of cool smell. And this is what we use to bake bread, and we're gonna stir up this yeast, get it all mixed in here, and I'm gonna hand this to you. Okay. Now we're gonna count down. And after we count down, you're going to dump this right into our flask, and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to hold in. it. Okay. All the way in. I'm going to hold it up, and we'll see what happens. And this is supposed to make a chemical reaction? A reaction. So we're combining two different chemicals together. And we're going to excite those molecules? And we're going to get them all excited. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can make a brand new chemical as a result. Perfect. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hold on. Woo! Steady. Goggles on. Three, okay. two, one, go. Oh, my gosh. Now what's happening? Ah! 
Oh my goodness. Ah! Professor Nick, what's happening now? What? Like, this is super weird, right? Water wouldn't do that, and it happens so quickly. So I'm making this crazy foam, and this foam is a result... Oh, it's hot. It's really hot. Can you feel that? I can, yeah. Yeah. I feel heat. So what's happening is after we did this reaction, we combined our two chemicals together, and we actually freed that oxygen that was held inside of our hydrogen peroxide. And what that soap did is the soap grabbed it all, it stuck to the soap, and it made these soap bubbles. So we have basically little oxygen bubbles made here from the soap. Isn't that awesome? So we just created oxygen. We just created oxygen. We, we created a gas. Created a gas. So where there's bubbles, there's a new gas. Right. So we started with something that was a liquid, and then we added in our yeast, and now we created or separated our gas from it. That's incredible. Now, this seems a little bit messy, Professor Nick. Is there yes. a chemical reaction that we can try without making such a big mess? Is there something that we can do? Yeah, for sure. Um, we have one for you, actually, right here. So here's a bag for you. OK. A little bag. It's tiny. And Are you can, sure we can do an experiment in this? Oh, I'm positive. OK. Go ahead and All pop right. that bad boy open. OK. Here we go. Bag is open. All right. Now, we're going to be using two chemicals that all of you guys have at home. These chemicals are really simple, and I'm sure your parents know about them. The first chemical that we're going to be using today is a chemical called vinegar, right? Now, vinegar is a chemical that we have a special name for. We call it an acid. So, when we have our chemicals, we divide them into different groups. An acid is a special chemical I talked about yesterday, and it's a substance that tastes sour, and it can eat through metal things. Now, yesterday, we had our universal indicator, and we used that to tell whether something was a solid, or excuse me, whether it was an acid or a base. Take these off because they're fogging up a little bit. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of our vinegar here and pour it in my test tube. Right, because the vinegar looks like water and also looks like the hydrogen peroxide we used earlier. Yeah, exactly. So this will be able to tell us why those chemicals are different. Right. So if you would do me a favor and take a little bit of universal indicator okay. with that pipette and test it. Now we're going to see what happens indicator. to our vinegar. Our vinegar could turn red to be an acid. We know it we probably will. Or it could turn blue or it could turn green or it could turn another color. So let's test it. Here we go. Ooh. Let's shake it up. And we got red. So the vinegar that we have in our houses is actually an acid. It's Everybody a, say acid. Say acid. It's a substance that tastes sour, right? If you ever eat something like a lemon, it tastes sour, and it eats through things that are metal. Now, the second chemical that we're going to be using today is actually a different chemical you have at home. It's called baking soda. So I'm going to get a little bit of this chemical, and let's test this chemical and see what happens. Here we go. Okay. Here, I've got the gloves on. Throw so for it. Enough in there so we can see it. Can I do this one? Yeah, of course. Okay. We're going to seal up our test tube, and then we're going to shake it up and see what color it turns. And what color did this turn? Blue. Kind of greenish blue. Yeah, yeah absolutely. green blue. So if it's b -b -b blue, it must be a b -b -b base. Yeah. So our bases are substances that taste bitter, and they eat through fats. So you guys have some bases at home. And if things are right in the middle, what are they, Ian? Neutral. Neutral. Awesome. So let's do our experiment. Here we go. Now, for this experiment, all that we need is we need to put some chemicals inside okay, of our bag. Yeah. So I'm going to let you do this one. Okay, so I, I have my bag for my experiment. Yep. All right. We're sure we can we can fit the experiment yeah, inside? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. I'm going to add in some baking soda. Okay, this is our, our base. And we'll just sprinkle that into the bottom of the yeah, bag? Yeah, okay. Just dump it in. And it's all in there. Okay. Perfect, though. Perfect. And now we need our acid, right? Now we need our acid. We need our vinegar. Okay, so let's take that. Take our cup of vinegar. Let's put it in here first. I don't no, put it in that one. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to uh, okay. fit in there. We'll make it fit. Nice. There we go. And just slide it all the way inside there. Okay, so the cup is now standing upright in our tiny bag. And I'm sealing the bag, making sure that no gas can escape. And remember that all of you can do this experiment at home, too. All you need is baking soda, vinegar, and a bag. And parental supervision. Of course. Are you ready, Professor Ian? I think I'm ready. What should I do next? On the count of three, you're going to shake that bag as hard as you can. Ready? Okay. One, two, five. Oh! oh no! Gotcha. <laughs> Something's happening. What's happening to it? 
the, ba the bag is swelling up. It's filling up with gas like a big bubble. How does it feel? It feels like it's about to burst. Does it feel hot? Does it feel cold? It's freezing cold. Are you scared, Professor Ian? I'm a little nervous. Do you want me to take it? Why don't you take it? Hot potato. Whoa, that does feel cold. It does. So, what happened here? Do you know? Well, I think we had a chemical reaction. Right. We created something new. We created a gas using a solid and a liquid. And definitely there was some exchange of energy because there was a change in temperature. Yeah. So we combined our baking soda and our vinegar. We combined them together and we made a brand new chemical. I can actually make this chemical too. Are you ready? Everyone, breathe in. <gasps> Hold it. Hold it. And breathe out. <sighs> we just made the chemical that I'm talking about. We just made... Carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide? Yeah, the same gas that we just made with this experiment. We mixed a solid and a liquid, and we made a gas. Inside our very long. Now, that's really cool that Incredible. you did that, Professor Ian. Yeah. Um, I feel really good about this. One second. Huh. You know, I like to do things a little bit bigger. I mean, that was cool and all. Sure. But um, I think I just want to go next level. Oh, okay. A little bit. Sure. I want to go a little bit more epic. So right. I'm yeah. going to get this. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this. Oh goodness! And then I'm gonna seal my bag. This is how you did it, right? We just sealed it up. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Uh, let's get all the air out. Perfect. And then, I mean, it's not that I didn't like, you know, your experiment. I thought it was really cool. No, I understand. You know, I just, I understand. You know, I want to do it a little bit bigger for everyone out there that's right, checking yeah, out the virtual gonna, laboratory. Gonna make sure that this experiment is is big. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Whoa, 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 Oh my gosh. Did you see the bubbles in there? Yeah, this oh is goodness. super cool. Oh, I think this is going to burst. Oh! Whoa. That is very cool. That was crazy. But Professor Nick. Well, that's as big as you could do that experiment, I think. I don't know. I think our viewers at home want to have a lot of fun. And so to have a lot of fun, yeah. you need a lot of chemicals. I want to have fun. So I have an even bigger experiment bag where we're going to have even more fun. Are we sure? Oh my god. I don't know. I think we should be a little crazy here. Oh my gosh. Okay. All I'll right. You I'm definitely going to need the help of, of someone else here with this. Okay. So Professor Nick, you can pour it in. Excellent. And then we have even more vinegar in a very large cup. We're going to very carefully slide that in there. We don't want this to happen sooner. I love you. Here. Expected. Okay. There, there we go. Steady. Oh yeah. I'll seal the bag to make sure no gas can get out. Alrighty. Okay. I think that's as sealed as I can get it. Are you ready? Are we ready? Count down with us. Now that you've seen this experiment several times. We're going to do a big countdown, all right? Starting with three, two, one, shake! Oh my, oh my goodness. gosh. It's filling up. Whoa. It's crazy. So you can do this experiment at home too, and this feels yes. completely cold. It's freezing cold. Yeah, I can, this is really nuts. I bet this would be like 30, 30 something now. degrees. It's going to pop soon too, huh? I think so. So by combining two chemicals together, a a solid that we used, and a liquid, and an acid and a base, what we did is we made a chemical reaction. We made carbon dioxide. totally new. That's awesome. That's super cool. Well, that is a very exciting and surprising reaction, Professor Nick. Thank you very much. Awesome, awesome stuff. Now, everyone at home, remember that we're going to be doing this every single day. The way that you can help us out is to make sure that you hit subscribe and like on the channel so that every day we can keep bringing you some awesome science videos. But, um... We're not done, are we, Professor Ian? No, I think we got some more science to do. Okay. In fact, you've inspired me. These uh, these last two experiments using chemical reactions and combining acids and bases remind me of a very cool experiment here. And all of the chemicals that I'm about to use are going to look the same, but as we've been talking about, things that look the same can react very differently. Acids, bases, neutrals, they might be very similar, but they're going to do very different things. So here's what we're going to do. I have some sodium bicarbonate in this cup. And I have some phenolphthalein in this cup. And then over here I have some vinegar. Inside my Erlenmeyer flask, H2O water. And a lot of these chemicals look similar. We're going to mix them together, create three different substances, and watch something really cool happen. So I will take first my sodium bicarbonate, put it into cup number one, 
I will then take my phenolphthalein and using a pipette, we will put just a few drops in there. Okay, just a few. Now I'm going to take my vinegar and I'm going to do three full pipette squeezes into this cup. One, two, two five. Oh, I keep doing that. Eight. All right, there we go. Next, I'm going to take my water, my H2O, and I'm going to make these into solutions. H2O is also known as the universal solvent. So if we add it to most substances, they can combine and create a solution. I'm going to try to fill these cups to just about the halfway point. And then I'm going to give them a little bit of stir. And um, that's actually a really important thing that you're talking about, a mixture and a solution. So a mixture is when we mix two things together, and they're combined, but we can take them apart again. So imagine if you had a pack of Skittles and a pack of M&Ms, and you mix them together in, a, together in a bowl. It would take a long time, but you could go through and you could separate them all. That's because they're not actually chemically combined, and that's really important. All right, so next we're ready to pour this into our big 16-ounce cup here. All right. Next, we're going to add our phenolphthalein to our sodium bicarbonate. Okay. Whoa! Pink, bright pink. So we definitely saw a reaction there, and it was able to change, telling us that there's something different about this solution than the others. That's so cool. So this happens because we had a little bit of a chemical reaction that happened there, exactly huh? Exactly right. And that colored it. So we have a completely pink solution right now, yes. and um, and this right here, even though it's a different color than our acid, or it's the same color as our acid from before, this is actually a base. Oh, really? So we're going to change this one more time. Okay. We're actually going to add an acid into it one more time. I'm ready. So this is our vinegar, remember. This is the acid. And we're going to add it to our cup and see what happens. Right. Three. Goggles on. Goggles on. Two. One. Hmm. Let's see. Give that a little mix around. That's very cool. And... I think we just need to add a little bit more vinegar to this. Okay. So I'm just add a little Actually, bit. we have vinegar over here if we need to add more. We do? Yeah, that's all vinegar. vinegar. All right. We even have a bigger vinegar if we need to. Vinegar. And we'll see what happens when we add vinegar to our solution. That is awesome. It so what happened to it? Clear. It changed back to clear. It's also fizzing and bubbling. It is. So we're creating gas, and we have changed the phenolphthalein solution from pink back to clear by adding the vinegar. That's so cool. So we changed it from being completely clear to being pink and back to clear again using only chemical reactions. That's exactly right. That's so cool. All right, now, I think we have one final chemical reaction to do. One of my favorites. All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to show it to you. We're each going to do it two times, Professor Ian. Sounds good. All right, so let's get this stuff a little bit out of the way here. Okay. And this chemical reaction is something that you can also do at home. This is a chemical reaction that uses the same two ingredients we have before. Baking soda, which is a base, and vinegar, which is an acid. So here we go. We have four cups, and each one of these cups, we're going to need one ounce of baking soda. So if you're doing this at home, you can use any size cup uh, that you want, but you are going to have to make sure that we do are able to fit a glove over it at the end. So we're going to put one ounce of baking soda in each of our cups. I'm going to put one ounce in mine, too. And then I guess if you could just go ahead, Professor Ian, and put one ounce in each of your cups. OK. Oh, the big cups. One ounce. And one ounce. All right. Cool. Now the next thing we need is our vinegar. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking one ounce of vinegar. And I'm going to pour this into my two over here. Are we ready? Ooh, perfect. Two. I'll let you do yours as well. OK. Awesome. There you go. Now, the last thing we need is a glove. Now, we know gloves are very important for protecting us from germs, but we use them in science, too. So with these gloves, what we're going to be doing in just a little bit uh, is we're going to be putting them over our cups, but not quite yet. Um, actually, what we need to do is first, we're going to need to pour our vinegar into the gloves. 
So I'm going to pour my vinegar into this glove right here. Okay. Ooh. And then I'm going to stretch it over the top of here. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with my other glove. So right now the vinegar is sitting in the fingertips of the glove and not getting in the cup. Exactly. Right. Right. Okay. So are they mixing? Not just yet. They're not mixing together just yet. So there's probably not going to be a chemical reaction because the two of them aren't combining together with each other. But how can we make them combine together? What are we thinking? I think we need to shake them just like we did with the bag. We got to shake them. We got to make the gloves come alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both my gloves and I'm going to lift them up on the count of three. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh my goodness! Oh, you're starting, really they're starting to stand. Oh, I don't have my all my baking vinegar in here. Oh, awesome! So what happens is we have that chemical reaction. Our carbon dioxide is made. It fills up our gloves, and that gas that we created fills up the space. So just like we talked about yesterday, gases fill up space, and this chemical reaction shows us that when we combine two chemicals together, we can get <laughs> should be that a new scientific hand. Hey, high five, high five right. safely. There we go. Thanks, everyone. Now, we want to let everyone know that thank you so much for joining us today. We have had an absolute blast. We are going to be doing more science tomorrow with you. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you have any suggestions for us, please let us know what science you guys want to see next. Anything else you want to say, Professor Ian? Just thank you for having me and showing me all these awesome chemical reactions. Awesome. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.